Hey guys, um, it's Homebrew Wednesday. I'm going to do something a little different today for Homebrew Wednesday. I actually am not drinking a homebrew. <coughs> um, I've got a, I want some medicine right now. I got sick a couple days ago, so I'm just going to take it easy tonight. But I'm going to open some beer mail on Homebrew Wednesday that I got sent for you guys. So, let's get to it because I only have so much time. And I'm opening it live on camera here. So you will get my reaction if there are busted bottles or anything like that. Now, I don't know who these are sent from. It shows their real names. But I'm not going to say it on camera in case they don't want people knowing their real names. Get some bed over here. Or I can do it right here. So. Probably should have cut all this open to avoid this video being extra long. I had it already cut open. But whatever. <clears throat> I'll edit some of this out. How about that? Alright, we're going back over here. Okay, first, I got two beer mails in, in, the, in the mail. This is the first one. Holy crap, man. Whoever did this, this is awesome. This is a great packing job. I hope these aren't busted. I don't even know what the hell this shit is. Look at this. A little... Just... It's like a little... I don't even know what the hell this is made out of. Look at these things. That's pretty cool. I've never seen those before. But anyways... Got some peanuts in here as well. And it looks like they put them in bags. That's a good idea. That's what I do. So I'll just get one out since they're all the same and tell you whose it is. Yeah, okay. So this is the cluster Broken CRJ. And let's open it up here. Sorry, I'm not on camera right now, really. Okay, yep, broken CRJ. Whew. Okay, cool, gave instructions on there as well. Cluster single hop IPAs, 5.9% ABV, 60 IBUs. And broken CRJ used the Safale US05 yeast. But he's got his little tag hanging there. You don't have to do tags and labels. I didn't, we didn't really discuss that. You don't have to, just let me know. As long as I know whose beer is what, we're good. And I'll label, you know, send a note to everyone so they know. But let me just double check. While I'm on camera here, I'm not going to open all these. I just want to get them all out and make sure nothing is broken. So when you're watching this broken, you can uh, be assured that they got here. One, two, three, four, and five. Looks like they're all good. They're all in good shape. Make sure you didn't accidentally send me an extra one or something in here. Man, these are, I don't know what this stuff is. That's awesome. It's a great idea. So I'm going to save this box, actually. And uh, use that to send out some beers later on. Alright, here's number one. Number two. Sorry I'm off camera for all of this, but it's not... Well, it's not like you want to stare at me the whole time anyway, so I guess it's a good thing. Alright, let's see. Okay, this one has a note or something. An envelope. Let's see what this is first before I dig in. Maybe it's a check. Ooh. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. Oh, what the heck? It is money. I was kidding. Yeah, that's really nice, man. Thanks a lot for that. This is High Toss. This is his Centennial IPA, and he threw in 10 bucks to help me cover shipping. Dude, that's awesome, man. You didn't need to do that, but I appreciate that a lot. That's really cool of you. Cool. Well, let's, uh, you know, thanks for that, man. We'll check, uh, make sure your beer's got here safe and sound. Looks like you packed it pretty well, just like the broken CRJ did. Lots of peanuts. <coughs> Shit. There's a lot of peanuts here. I don't want to get them all over the place. Let's see. I 
that's the only sucky thing about peanuts is you can't really pull something out of these boxes filled with peanuts without getting peanuts all over the place. So I got them all out of the box here. So if you packed them pretty well. I don't think anything's broken here. I don't see any anything, any liquid coming out here, so that's good. We're two for two. That's good. Yeah, for guys who haven't for guys who haven't set the beers out yet, I'll make sure when you uh, ship them. I didn't say this, and I probably should have. Don't ship UP, the USPS, United States Postal Service, because I think technically it's illegal. But you can ship FedEx or um, UPS or whatever. Just don't do USPS. And tell them that it's fragile. If you have to tell them like it's glassware or ornaments or something, but get them to market fragile if you can. Okay, I'm just gonna pull one of these out. The fact that I'm having trouble with this is a good is good. It means you packed it really well. The harder it is to get out, the better. Okay, well anyways. There we go. There's one. Alright, yeah, okay. So yeah, he's got it on the top. This is the Centennial IPA. So here you go. This is High Tall. Check out his channel. <clears throat> High Tall 1063. He's got a good channel going. He's starting up now. And uh, seems like he's doing a lot of brewing as well. So I'm excited to try these guys. Uh, we got you sent five of these, right? One, two, yep, five and five. So the first two to arrive are Broken CRJ and High Tall. I'm assuming you guys also sent five each to SJ Poor. If you didn't, go ahead and do that. Um, still waiting on uh, the rest of you guys, and I've seen you guys posting videos lately, so I've been following you. I've been really busy, but I've been following everyone. So um, <coughs> let me know uh, when y'all. Uh, like I said to these guys, send me a message whenever you actually send your beers so I can be expected on like I was theirs. And, uh, yeah, after I get them all, I will divide them out and ship them. Same with SJ, and then we can all try them. So, thanks a lot. Thanks again, Hi Tall, for the for the shipping money. You didn't need to do that, but that was, that was nice of you. So, anyways, guys, uh, this is Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, like I said, drinking some water. Cheers. and collecting homebrew in the mail. Pretty good homebrew Wednesday. <clears throat> Cheers.